Hello there folks and welcome back to Space Engineers. They've finally done it. After a long amount of waiting, we can finally get DirectX 11 and they're starting to implement new designs and new textures for all of the blocks. And a couple of the blocks have new designs already. So we're gonna take a look and see what the difference looks like. All right, and here we are. You can definitely see a massive difference with the Direct X11. The lighting is completely different, and they have what is called physical-based rendering, so everything looks quite a lot different. I don't necessarily know if I um, completely like this quite as much as the <laughs> design that we're used to, but it, I, I do admit it does look a lot, well, a lot more realistic. And one thing to notice, if you're going to be using DirectX 11, I noticed a fairly massive hit on my frame rate. Usually I'd run at a good solid 60 frames per second. And when I uh, dropped it to DirectX 11, the frames dropped to a blisteringly low uh, 30 frames per second. And if you're curious as to what I'm running, I'm running a GTX 770 with uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, so it's not the best GPU in the universe, but it's certainly better than some, and it's a lot better than the one that I started playing the game with, which could run it just fine. But I do have to admit, the game does look a whole lot better. And I can't wait until they actually update all of the different blocks, but adding all those new polygons is also going to be very taxing on your GPU, so unless you have a fairly beastie computer, it seems as though the DirectX 11 probably is not for you, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, I think that's just the way it's going to be. If you want to make a game look better, you gotta, you gotta have a better GPU and better processor. Also, um, having a better processor probably does help a little bit because sometimes your uh, rendering can be bottlenecked by your processor, and if any of you are wondering what processor I have, I have an AMD 8350 with uh, it's uh, quad core, 4 gigahertz per core with a um, factory overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz per core, so that's pretty quick. And a lot of people out there are probably surprised I don't have an Intel, but that's because AMD are better for multitasking and I have to render lots and lots of stuff to get you these videos, so... Um, AMD is actually much better for rendering and doing multitasking. And, alright, enough talk about the computers themselves, so let's take a look at some of the new blocks that they've added. I don't think that the gyroscope is new, but let's see here. There are going to be some new blocks down here. Uh, I know the warhead is new. I know that, um, the gyroscope actually does look, it does look new. Maybe? Maybe it's just because it's painted differently, it looks different. But uh, we're actually probably going to have to go back to the mothership to take a look at some of the um, actual blocks that have changed. Okay, so the projector is new. Yep, the gyroscope is new. Um, the spotlight is new as well. The warhead is new. And I think that's about it. I think I thought one of the reactors was new, but it doesn't look to be the case. Small reactor. No. Well, I'm going to figure out all of this, and then we will uh, be back with you in a little bit to show you all of the new different block types. In fact, well, before we do that, let's go back to our mothership. Because, uh, first off, I want to see what the mothership looks like in uh, this new physical base rendering. And I might actually have to brighten this in post because with the new DirectX 11, everything seems a little bit darker. All right, so I think we're going to have to go in this vague direction. But uh, you guys let me know what you think if you want me to keep playing it in uh, DirectX 9, which is the old-fashioned way which we've been playing at it for quite some time, or if you want me to uh, keep on playing it in... DirectX 11, we can do that as well. And actually, I am going to be showing you what my actual video settings are, and right now I'm running at around 30 frames per second, so this will give you an idea of what you'll need to run this at full spec, so 
go to options, graphics, you have the option for DirectX 9, DirectX 11, and then you have all these different options. Right now I just have it on FXAA. I could probably boost it up to MSAA times 2 or times 4 because there's enough VRAM in this card that I should be able to do that for the resolution we're running. We have the shadow map resolution at high. That makes it look pretty nice. Textures at medium, I could bump it up to high. And the antroscopic filtering is only at times 1 because the higher you bump this, the larger your frame rate will drop and it will drop fairly dramatically. So, anywho, let's... Um, head on back this way. The asteroids, however, do look much, much better. They have much better shading on them because it actually looks as though the light's coming from a light source and they're not just being illuminated from every which direction. Which is kind of cool, but where's the sun? Okay, yeah, so the sun's actually coming from there. It's used as a lighting source. The top of the asteroids are all going to be colored, well colored, lit. They are colored, they're just a dull brown. Alright, well, let's head on in this direction. I think we'll meet you back when we're actually at the mothership, and we'll show you all of the new blocks that they've added. Alright, well, we are back at our mothership, and one thing that I noticed is not having interior lights everywhere, even spotlights for that matter, really does make a difference. Before, you could pretty much see pretty much anywhere, and everywhere was fairly well lit, and you didn't really have to use your headlamp that much, but... Now that's not so much the case, it's really, really quite dark with all this uh, new physical base rendering, which is kind of cool, I actually do like this quite a lot. I might actually have to bump down my render range, right now my render range is at 40 kilometers, I believe that's what it is. I might have to bump it down a little bit in order to get the best resolution possible for all of you guys, but let's just uh, run around the station without our lamp on just to see what it looks like. It could be a really creepy game with uh, this new rendering and uh, yep military transporter popped in actually no it didn't that's always been there however I'm getting some weird frame uh, issues with this but this is the very very first iteration of this patch so I'm sure uh, refinement will come in later patches and ooh you can actually see through the conveyor tubes now and it actually looks as though it's uh, proper glass, not some odd texture slapped on there, which is kind of cool. And one thing that I think we're going to do is, well, I think we're going to go to, well, actually, I'd like to see the cockpit, because with all this new glass, and there's a whole bunch of glass in there, it will look pretty cool. Well, the glass itself isn't new, but the way it's rendered is, so I think it'll look quite a bit different than it did before. Well, maybe, maybe a little bit. I mean, the whole... Oh, this thing looks awesome. Got to admit, this game looks a lot better than it did before. That's pretty cool. Well, let's actually go take a look at a couple of the new blocks that they've added. Here we are with our new blocks that they have added into the game. So the gyroscope was indeed one of the new updated blocks. You can see by... Uh, how many more polygons are added to it, so it's not quite as rough. Also, the beacon actually looks pretty cool. So, hey, thumbs up to that, because the beacon used to look like just a kind of boring old block. But not anymore. Also, the projector looks pretty awesome, and the spotlight, the spotlight looks pretty sweet. And before, it was just kind of like a meh block. In fact, all the blocks in the game are kind of just meh. But uh, with the new DirectX 11 and the new... Um, I don't know if you want to call them texture maps on them. They are much, much, much better. Also, we also have a warhead. I put it a little bit further away in case I accidentally trigger it so it wouldn't actually blow up the station. So, yeah, the warhead itself looks pretty cool, too. So, thumbs up to Keen for making the game look better, and I hope that in future updates they continue to add more blocks, and I hope they also continue to optimize it because, uh... Right now, there's really no reason that uh, this game should be running at such a low frame rate uh, for what it looks like, considering you can run... Uh, I can run Star Citizen at a better frame rate than this, so that's, that's saying something. Anyhow, I hope optimization comes. I'm sure it will. And in the meantime, the rest of the episode is just going to be uh, a couple of beauty shots of 
the differences between the DirectX 9 and DirectX 11. So uh, enjoy the music and uh, tell me what you guys think. Do you want me to keep it in uh, the old rendering system or the new physical base rendering of DirectX 11? So thanks, thank you folks for watching. Enjoy the music and I'll see you guys next time.